the peaceful and the calm nature of phlegmatics makes them really get into conflict with other people and also enables them to resolve conflict between two parties quickly. Hello dear, welcome to Get Empowered with Willie Manx. Today, we'll be discussing the peaceful phlegmatic. The element used to describe phlegmatics is water because of their calm nature and phlegm because of their slow nature. Roman Chateaupadi said, your attitude proves your temperament and your temperament shows your personality. Phlegmatics possess these strengths. They are the easiest to relate with among all other temperaments. They are very calm under tough situations. Nothing seems to disturb them. They are emotionally balanced people. They are very friendly, so they do not lack friends. They are very good listeners. They are genuine listeners to other people's problems and like to comfort people. They think about the needs of others. They are loyal friends. They know how to maintain friendships, but can easily be discouraged if others don't reciprocate that. They are peacemakers. They will rarely enter into conflict with others and will make sure that their words don't offend you. They tend to have peaceful and agreeable nature. It is their sincere desire to please others. They will never insist of things to be done in their own way. They are dependable. You can depend on them in rough times and seasons. They are highly patient people. This gives them the same power in whatsoever they do. Also, they have amazing sense of being stuck to one thing and doing what they need to do. They are humorous. Their personalities are very witty. However, they have a dry sense of humor as well. They make good parents. Unlike other temperaments, phlegmatic see their family and kids as top priority. They possess analytical mindsets. However, here are the weaknesses of phlegmatics. They lack drive and ambition. They are very stubborn people, but their diplomatic nature makes it difficult to identify that trait. They will never openly confront people. They are laid back in everything. Extroverts like cholerics and sanguines have problems with them. They are very fearful individuals. They are procrastinators and sometimes forget dates and appointments. They are lazy, they easily get tired, and they enjoy sleeping a lot. They are extremely selfish. They don't care much about their dressing. Phlegmatics hide their emotions. You may never know what they are going through in life, even if something is affecting them. They sometimes can be disorganized. Great career and opportunities for phlegmatics. 1. Teaching. Phlegmatics become one of the best teachers. Pupils and students enjoy their lessons because they are very patient, calm, and make the atmosphere comfortable considering the fact that they love routines and analysis. They are rarely rash, impatient, or critical to students. 2. Clerical officers. Phlegmatics do well in this job because of their love for routines and diligence at the workplace. The main roles of clerical officers include filing documents, answering phone calls and responding to emails, reception desk duties or any job that deals with day-to-day -day running of an organization. 3. Administrative secretary or administrators. The role of administrators or administrative secretary is to report to the superiors after job has been completed. This kind of routine work fits phlegmatics due to their diligence and organizational traits. 4. Bookkeeping and finance. Phlegmatics' organizational skills 
helps them to keep financial records and other information safe. Bookkeeping and financial management are good for phlegmatics. Five, nursing auxiliaries and assistants. The role of nursing auxiliaries and assistants is to assist doctors, nurses, and other health professionals in caring for the sick and injured within the hospitals, homes, clinics, and wider community. They have great patience and kind-hearted nature enable them to succeed in this profession. Six, personal and conflict management. The peaceful and the calm nature of phlegmatics makes them rarely get into conflict with other people and also enables them to resolve conflict between two parties quickly. Seven, diplomatic relations. Their friendly and social nature, sense of humor, and organizational skills gives them the ability to easily connect with people, communities, and nations together. They end up becoming very good ambassadors. Eight, engineering and architecture. Due to the analytical minds of phlegmatics, they do well at designing equipment, reactors, and other systems to be used in processing materials. They normally excel in chemical, electrical, and mechanical engineering fields. Phlegmatics are very adaptable people and makes them good at field work. Nine, doctors and surgeons. The patient and disciplined nature of phlegmatics helps them to go through rigorous medical school. Because they care a lot for people, they become very good doctors and surgeons. Statistics show that there are more phlegmatics and melancholics in the medical field than choleric and sanguines. Examples of famous phlegmatics in the world include Vladimir Lenin, Bill Gates, Mark Twain, Elon Musk, Walt Disney, Margaret Thatcher, Peter the Great. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to know yourself and how to relate with others around you. And so having talked about the phlegmatic temperament today, you should be able to know if you are phlegmatic and identify the phlegmatics around you. There are two more to go in this series. So stay tuned as we continue next week with the choleric temperament. Till then, have a productive week, stay empowered. <laughs>